is Jerwina Arnejo, and currently an instructor at the University of San Carlos. So, um, before we go over to the friend numbers, I know you had you, you have with you your viewers. So, we'll start first with a um, quick recap on the concepts of the things that involve in the in the question in the questionnaire. So start off with the different um, types of problems so we have here the most common we have age we have mixture problem we have work problem so in the age problem so this is typically um, a type of problem that needs more emphasis on the tenses of the verb so we have there your common past present and your future according to how it is being stated in the problem. So, say for example, so a certain age of a person, so in terms of X are as follows. So depending on whether it was stated in the past, present or in future sense of the verb. So if you talk about with the past, so and then according to the specific year, say for example six years ago, so you have to um, write it as x minus x so that is how you translate six years ago into a mathematical equation if you do not know the present age so we can designate that as x oh by the way x is just um arbitrary you can change to any um, letter that you want it's not it's not necessarily x you can choose y or any letters of the alphabet and then if you have here five years hence or in five years time so you can also have that in, in that form you can write that or you can translate that into the mathematical equation x plus five right so um, these are some of the common translation from your um from the english from the word problem to the uh, mathematical equation so let's have a sample problem under age. Age word problem. So we have here six years ago. So to to better um to, to, how do you call this? to better solve this type of problem, I suggest you can have you have it in a tabular form. Right? So you can organ you can you have organize it properly so that when you apply or when you apply the, the specifications in the problem, you won't get lost since you can um, actually see it in your table. Right, so you have used six years ago, Hilda was five times as old as Lisa. In five years, Nilda will be three times as old as Lisa. Now, what is the present age of Lisa? So, we do not know what is the present age of Lisa, so we can designate that as X. So that is our base. So from that, so or that is actually our our unknown. Right? And then we have here six years ago. So we can have that as X minus X, uh, rather X minus six. And then we also have your statement that in five years. So you have here translate that into a mathematical equation so that would become plus five. So if it's in the past, you have to subtract. If it's in the future, you have to add it. So for Nilda, so Nilda here will be three times as old as Riza. So in five years time, so you can use this mathematical equation, the x plus five, and then um, subsequently add this statement which is three times as old as Lisa. So that's why you have here this one, um, this mathematical equation three times the quantity of x plus five. Minus, okay, so in five years, so minus uh, the age of, you have here, um, Nilda. So six years ago, Nilda was five times as old as Lisa. So you have this um, statement. So the five year um, corresponds to the five times as old. Then the x minus six is the age of 
um, visa six years ago is equal to uh, here um, x plus 5 minus x minus 6. So you have to group accordingly your um, mathematical equation. Right? So since um, all expression is in terms of x, you can combine like terms. So first is you distribute this um, 3 to the equation inside your parenthesis. So use the distributive property. So 3x um, so become so 3x plus 3 times 5, you have 15 minus. So always carry the sign, this one. So this is the negative sign, minus 5 times x. So that's why you have minus 5x times negative 5 times negative 6. So negative divided by a negative will so become positive. So plus 30. And also this one. And then you combine like terms. So you combine all those with the um, variable x, combine all the um, coefficients as well. So you have here 3x, so minus 5x, and then you also have x on the right side of your equation. But then you can cancel this out. So um, in the same, you have the same rather uh, date. Um, but of different signs, so positive and a negative, but the same quantity, you can cancel that out. And then also this coefficient, so 15 plus 30 of 45, you can transpose that onto the right side of your equation. So x then would be equal to 17. That is now the present age of Lisa. So you can also get the age of Nilda here based on the uh, age of Risa. Okay? So that's how you will solve your age problem. Okay? Another type of word problem we have here the work. So when you say um, work problem, so it's um, the combination of how a certain work can be done if you have multiple workers. Okay, so um, it is represented by <laughs> this one, a rectangular. Um, I'd like to represent that in that way. So or it is better represented in that way, so uh, in a rectangular um, block. So say, for example, this is the entire work. So it is divided into five. So one tile for that represents a, represent a person, okay, uh, what the person can finish in one day. So it's, it's a fraction of the total group. Alright, so let's have an example. So for a complete job, so to complete a certain work, so we have here rate, uh, multiply it by time. So that would be equal to 1 that will be equal to 1. Now, if there is a specific work at a specific time and manpower, we can, we can represent that or we can compute that using the man hours. So, it's the man hour term. So, let's have an example. So, if 20 bakers can bake 40 pizzas in 8 hours, how many bakers can bake 10 pizzas in 2 hours? hours so um, we have to represent this in the man hour form so get the rate of baking a pizza so when you say rate so it's with respect to time so you have there the factor of time so from the equation rate times time so you have here 20 bakers so times 8 hours so that's the um, rate for that certain baker uh, that can bake 40 pizzas at that certain time. So rate then would be equal to 4 baker hour per pizza. Or so this means that to bake a pizza, you need either 4 bakers to work in 1 hour or 1 baker to work in 4 hours. 
That is how you are going to represent it in a man hour form. Right? So, for that 20 pages, you complete one group. Another example. <laughs> It takes Mylene twice as long as Janna to do a certain work. Now working together, they can finish the work in six hours. How long would it take Janna to do it alone? So, in order to solve this, we have to represent this in a, in a variable. So, let me change my screen. Show you how to right so here here we can represent their work so you can have x you can represent this as the time for my lean Right, time for my lean to finish the job. So, time for my lean. And then for Y, you can have that um, time for Jenna. So, if we are to represent that, their work. So 1 over x plus 1 over y, they can complete the job together in 6 hours. So we can have that as our equation 1. So you have here a solution that um, it takes smiling twice as long as Jenna to do a certain work. So if they work together, they can finish it in six hours. So you can express this in terms of y for equation. So one over x okay, this way this would be our equation two. So we make use now our equation 1 and equation 2 by substitution. We can substitute equation 2 to your equation 1. So that would now become, you substitute equation 2 to equation 1, so now become 2 over y plus 1 over y. So they are now of the same term is equal to 1, 6. Right? And then since this is a fraction, so we call this as similar fraction, so they have the same denominator. So what you do is just to add the numerator. Add the numerator, it will now become 3 over y is equal to 1, 6. And then you cross multiply, you get the value of your y which is now equal to 18 hours okay so this is now that time that um, a person can do the job alone okay if they will not work together at all okay. next we have here the mixture problem so, the easiest way to solve a mixture problem, again, is to represent it in such a way that it would be easier for you to um, recognize the different um, composition of your mixture. So, you can have this, um, this one in a rectangular or in square form so to better illustrate it. So, say for example, if you have a 5 cubic meter mixture, Containing 65% alcohol and 35% gasoline. So calculate for the amount of alcohol and gasoline in cubic meters. So this is the entire mixture, the entire composition. 
So when you represent it with a with a square or a picture, so make sure that your representation also corresponds to the um, uh, correct percentages. So since 65 is um, bigger than 35, so your um, representation should also be in that manner. So to calculate all that, the quantity of your alcohol, you just multiply the percentage, change this into a decimal form by the volume of your mixture. So we have here 65% is equivalent to 0 0.65 times 5. So you will get 3.25 cubic meter for the alcohol. So that is the amount of alcohol. Now for gasoline, so the same same manner, change your percentage into decimal form. So that would be 0.35 times the volume, which is 5 cubic meter. So if you um, calculate that, you will get 1.75 cubic meter. Then to check whether your answer is correct, you can just add 3.25 and 1.75. See to it that it will be um, equal to 5 cubic meter or to the um, volume of your mixture. So that would be for the <coughs> for that different type of word problems.